Hey guys, today we are going to film our homeschool routine with Gather Around Homeschool Curriculum. Um, super simple. We are getting a late start today. I had two toddlers, three toddlers, one the baby, and then the other toddler who is out in the playroom watching Blippi. Um, I had them up most of the night last night, so I was tired, so I slept in. That's the glory of homeschooling, isn't it? But with Gather Round, it makes things a lot easier. Situations like that a lot easier. So we are getting a late start. All right, are we ready? Yeah. No. Yeah. Set. Here we go. Today we are going to learn about Israel, and while I am reading, my pre-reader will be coloring her coloring sheet. Well, at least that's what she's doing for the first few minutes. While I'm reading, I often take breaks just to make sure that there are no questions, and sometimes we pause to research things we don't necessarily understand. And then, of course, we have that occasional random dance party. At this point, I believe she's checked out. So are you going to go in the playroom for me? I want my apple so I can do it. Okay, but we really need to read. So are you gonna, My apple. Are you going to play? Are you going to play with your apple while we read and listen and be quiet and not interrupt us anymore? Yeah. Okay. You have to listen, though. Why don't you try to listen? Maybe you'll learn something about Israel. Do you think you'll learn something about Israel? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Now, at this point, she is just going to dance around and be silly. As for the other kids, a good way to help them keep focused and hold their attention is to allow them to play with Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. If you don't have this stuff in your life, you need to get it in your life. It is amazing stuff. I might show it in another video. But anyways, it really helps them retain information and concentrate. Okay, so we are done with the reading portion of the day. And now everybody is getting their student books out. Everybody is getting their student books out. <laughs> And I will go around and I will help the ones that need help. Some of them don't really need help. They just like to look at my book. But. So Miss Thing here is working on the early elementary unit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you are you big, ew, are you helping watch your brother? That's so big of you. That's helpful. Thank you. Okay. I don't think it's I don't think it's that dirty. You can set it back on him. Anyways, um, Miss Thing over here is doing her map, so she likes to look through the book and kind of work on her own. She is using the okay, yeah. She is using the early elementary level. Um, she could be in upper elementary, but right now we're just keeping her there. And then my preteen here, he is. I'm a preteen too. Oh, you think so? I am. No, 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 no. He's doing the same. The pages are similar. He is in the upper elementary. And this will be his last year in upper elementary. What? This is my first year yeah. in this curriculum. No, a second. Mom. This is Mommy. our third month. <laughs> you spell kosher with a C and you put Mac Donald. <laughs> On that okay okay so this is my this is my early reader and I'm going to help him with his interesting fact um, and then I will move on to my pre-reader who is out in the, the playroom right now um, while he works on his flag and doing what he needs to do on this page then I will get her going on her pages but right now I'm going to help my early reader work on his interesting fact and what's an interesting fact you remember from Israel our reading about Israel that there's 40 McDonald's and they are all I don't know kosher right Wait, what's that and that gives us an amazing thing to research kosher okay, so my little pre-reader is getting ready to do some of her homework and I'm going to sit down with her and just get it done really quick. If I feel like she needs some extra focus in any of the areas from today, I will go ahead and I will work with her a little later this afternoon. Um, but right now we just go ahead and we just get her paperwork done, don't we? And then she takes a break um, just because she's four and she needs to play. Yeah? No. Yeah. 
Oh no, you like, do you like doing your homework? Yeah. Yeah, does she it make you feel like me. a big girl? Yeah. Are you a big girl? Yeah. How old are you? I'm a big girl. <laughs> Very good. I wanted to show you guys really quick. So she is doing, again, the pre-reader. So she is counting, and she can count, and she can identify her numbers, but she has trouble writing her numbers. So these are some neat things that I have. I I believe I got these for free, but I may have purchased these. And these are from teachingmama.org. And I've had these for a while. She is going to use these just because I feel like they would help her write. You know, she needs to learn how to form the letters first. And they have neat little rhymes that go along with them um, to help her remember how to write each of these, these numbers. So when she comes to it, she did write the one, and she did a really excellent job on that. Um, but when she comes to a number... I will have her try to write it in here, but we're going to trace them. Okay, so I have sent the older two with the younger two, um, except for the babies here. Um, I have sent them upstairs to get lunch and eat something just so I can work with um, my early reader without any kind of distractions and stuff. So he's already finished his interesting fact. Um, we all did that in the beginning. And then he went ahead and worked on the flag portion and then identifying or um, pinpointing where Israel is on the map. This particular page is a same page alert, so I will wait and do that with the older kids and the younger kids together. So right now we're really just working on the pages that he needs to focus on himself. So we'll get those done really quick. He will then go up and eat lunch. And then the bigger kids will come down and finish up the work that they need to do. And then after he has ate, um, we'll go ahead and finish up the pages with the same page alert on them. Now remember we did get a late start today. That is why we're doing lunch in between. Normally we wouldn't do that. We would either do this in the morning or do it after lunch, but today we're doing it just a little bit different. So we started school at 11 o'clock and it is now 12.30, 12.40. So we've been at this for an hour and 40 minutes roughly. Um, it's taken us a little longer just simply because I have been filming on and off. Um, normally it would just be step, 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 but you know, moving the cameras around and stuff takes a little longer. So. I would say about an hour total, um, maybe an hour and 15 minutes that we've been going at it. So right now, just because we're just transitioning into this curriculum, instead of having him write from um, me reading it to him and then him writing it down, I go ahead and I um, let him copy it. In the next unit, we're not going to do that. He is going to start doing it from memory. Um, but for right now, just to get us into these and adjusted to these units in this curriculum. That's the way we've been doing it. So trace and color the Jewish trace and color the Jewish Jewish symbols in the picture. So I think what I will do because all of the kids are learning about the Jewish. I cannot say my SHs for some reason. Jewish? <laughs> Very good. All the kids are learning about what he said, symbols. And so we are going to look up, uh, I'm going to see if I can find a video because I'm actually really curious myself what all these symbols mean. So we'll try to find a video that we all can sit down and watch and so um, gonna, learn about the Jewish symbols. So we're going to skip this video? It's the sh and the s, Jewish symbols. Symbols. Jewish That's symbols. That's what trips me Jewish, up for some reason. Jewish symbols. You said it good though a second Jewish, ago. <laughs> Jewish. All right. It is. It is one twelve. So that did take us a little while, only because of this page it required us to do a lot of little things because it is the last lesson in this unit. And so he color-coded all of the countries that we learned about for Asia. And so, like I said, that took us a little bit of time. So he is going to go up and eat. Um, I'm going to have the big kids come down. They are actually going to work on their map while he is getting something to eat. And then we'll figure out what's wrong with little fussy monkey. So that's where we are right now. 
Um, so he's gonna go eat, and the big kids are gonna do the math. Okay, so we are back for lunch. I am going to clean up really quick. The kids are in the playroom. I need to clean up this crazy mess right now, so that's what I'm gonna take about five minutes to do. So that took me less than five minutes, but Pause. it is. Doing it. So we're gonna go ahead and get back to doing our score. Okay, so we have a page that we have to do all together, so I'm getting ready to read that. Unfortunately, one of my older children should have been working on some of this other stuff while I was working with the other ones, but they were waiting for me for whatever reason, so he did not finish his any of the other work. So he's got quite a bit of catch up to do. Um, but the other thing that we have to do is I have to uh, read the passage to them and they have to write it down and that is their spelling test for the day. He's working on his math right now since he didn't get do his math so he's doing that right this second. So I'll read while he's doing his math. Really? No, I'm not. Really? Sure. Yeah. The Mom? Dead Sea is Mommy. above 1,300 feet. So just a fun little tip, I have these index cards, they come like this and they are perforated inside. I have the kids write their spelling word for the week as well as their memory verse in them so they can refer to them easily. Also, I can refer to it when I read the memory verse for them to write down. finishing up the two older ones. Um, it's all independent work. They're just doing the map work, the last page. Um, the Jewish symbols we are going to actually research this evening as a family, but as for everything else, it pretty much wraps up our day. We are done. Everybody has completed their homework. So we do gather round, like you saw, and we do math. We do supplement handwriting um, because they are doing cursive. But I do know that Rebecca is working on adding in cursive um, as well as manuscript handwriting books because she did so with the um, space. I did go ahead and print that, but... Um, so we're really getting a lot of work done here, but everybody is done. Say woohoo! Well, you guys aren't done, but I'm done, yay! So that means in a matter of three, three and a half hours, usually it takes us about four hours to completely complete everything. We have completed our homework and we are done for the day. The way that it should be, it's simple, and that is that. And I don't know what's going on out here. We're playing like flashlight tag or something. Holy, look at the big disaster that's going on out there. Well, I'm thankful to have a playroom off of my schoolroom because that helps with the little you ones, know as you can close see. To be at, actually be done. Why? Because that page no, is no. that page is hard. No, here, I'll show you guys it. what they're doing. He has to label all these yes. little things <laughs> on them. them. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some insight into how simple That's Gather Around totally Homeschool yes. can be. If you'd like to see more day in the lives or um, our routines, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and little bell to stay notified of all of my videos. And give it a thumbs up uh, to encourage these two to do their homework. I do my homework. As always, guys, I will see you in the next.